It's a musical comedy with a murder mystery whodunit element. It's almost like the producers meets Agatha Christie. So we have a show that's been put on called Robin Hood, and that's what you see when the curtain rises, and the leading lady is murdered. Frank Chaffee, Jason Manford, comes in to solve the crime, but he also loves musical theatre and is, works in amateur dramatics in his days off and wants to help fix the show as well and like tweak a few bits because it's not quite working. And, um, and yeah, we play a, um, a previously married couple who are um, composed with their assistant and maybe a few like little romantic stories, threads happening without. But um, yeah, it's about fixing Robin Hood and putting on the show and um, solving the murder all at the same time. The more murders happen throughout, so it just keeps you guessing who is it. We're not allowed to leave the theatre, that's the whole story. Yeah. So everyone has to stay in there. Just yeah. trying to figure out who the hell is doing all of these movies around you. Because some, it's someone in the theatre, so yeah. yeah, we're not allowed to leave. Yeah. Our director, Paul Foster, is the best director at putting together a cast. Everyone is fabulous, and he makes sure that he, you know, through the audition situation, he meets everybody one on one, uh, every single person that he wants to cast, so he can get to know them as a person, which I think is really important, because you never know what you're going to get. No. You know, I mean, I was actually on my yacht in the Caribbean when he asked me, so I, I didn't see, no, I, didn't I'd see never that. heard of the chap before, but he's no. bloody lovely. And he's marvellous, so yes. I had to really learn to not laugh on stage because the people in the show are hilarious. I don't play a funny character, so to try and deal with that <laughs> has been a learning curve. Which has been quite frustrating. <laughs> Making laugh, I imagine. I'm yes. terrible. Yes. I am terrible. Uh, honestly, yeah. I'm not so, as bad as the others. But I'm getting there. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's going to be perfect for London, though, isn't it? Because like the regionals are really accepted. Like in Belfast last week, we had some innovation didn't we? Every night. So yeah. lovely, and I think the the West End will receive it even more so because it's kind of written for people who understand how theatre works, yeah. and it's, they're more found, I guess, in the West End and the type of people who come to watch a West End show. So um, yeah, I think it's going to go down well. Such a good. So we we have a laugh all the time. I mean, there's definitely moments. I mean, we're often this close to each other's face, so. Yeah. God, the other day when your sweat nearly fell into my yeah, mouth. Yeah, I did. I had a moment where I was like, I was actually like this, where I was, and I was sweating so much, I felt this bead of sweat come hit to my nose, and I thought, it's going to go in her mouth. <laughs> it's going to go in her mouth. And I had to pick her up quicker. I think when it's a comedy, it, you can't help but have a good time because you're making each other laugh. Yeah. And you're finding new ways to make each other laugh. Yeah. And, and there's so many moments where everyone's on stage together, so developing those, those relationships night after night. Uh, our uh, associate choreographer was in last night and she said how much has developed from the opening to yeah. more and more things and how grounded it becomes because you can't not develop yeah. further as, as you do night by night. Just get more comfortable with each other and you find new things, don't you? And, yeah. it's, and you can just read it, you can just see it and feel it. So yeah, it's good. Yeah. We've just got such a lovely company and things. It's what, from the outset, we've been so excited to be working yeah. as a team because we all get on and it's like yeah. just a really nice atmosphere. I, I always think with everything that, that you do, if, if, if you get on on stage and there's a warm feeling on stage, it just comes across and the audience know. People are not thick, you know, they can see that people get on and it's a laugh and, and that is infectious, you know. Um, and I, yeah, so we've been... I don't, I don't think fortunate. I think because most people in this business are generally nice. You know, you get the odd, you know, note here and there. But this is a, a cast and, and, and crew that don't have. There's no weak link really. Everybody is. Uh, everyone nails it. Everyone turns up on time. Everyone does it to the hundred percent of their ability. You know, to uh, to a fault really. You know, we've had people who, you know, you've been not feeling well or injured or whatever, and you think, well, if I was an accountant or a, I worked in a shop, I'd have probably had a day off. But the show must go on, you know, and, and so and that's a credit to, to the people in the cast. Any role? What would you love to do? Oh, it's a blimey. There's, there's actually a list. I've got a list as well. Funny thing happened on the way to the forum. I just love. Oh I've always my wanted to. Dolly Levi, Daniel LaRue. That's mine as well. Um, I want to do Dolly Levi. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll do the matinees. Okay. Yeah, do the evenings. Um, I've, uh, Cameron McIntosh, if you're watching, I've always wanted to play Fagin. I just loved it. I worked front of house on it twice. Oh, I just loved it. I mean, there's those ones that you always want to to do because you know your childhood. I mean, I Wicked was a show that when I was younger made its huge hit, and I was always like, wow, that's that's the dream. There's various things that you want to hit with vocal kind of things, or more like the acting jobs and like that kind of thing. No, so I have think. always, always, always wanted to play Chris in this like I'm just, it's like. Just, I don't know why. It's just, just, just Chris. Oh, yeah, that show is just incredible. I'd love to be, you know, in a in a classic. I, I guess that you know, in a lame is would be my 
Uh, so probably Javert though, I think, rather than Jean Valjean. I like a rest. Uh, and uh, and also just because he's nuts, it's like let it go, mate. Just a bit of bread. He's so keen. Let it go. There's people being murdered over there. He's like you stole bread. Whatever comes along. It's funny. I've never sort of. I don't know about you, but I've never gone. I'm desperate to do this or this no, or this. Yeah, it's just. I love playing lots of different mm. types of characters, so, you know. And I love pantomime, so I'm quite happy to just, you know, do a little bit of Julian Clary's work when he's not, you know, when he's not too busy. Yeah. <laughs> um, but there's nothing, there's nothing... Well, the next, I've always, I've said that the next revival of Santa Boulevard, Bagsy B. Norma, sorry about it. I'll pop on a yeah, turban. Yeah, you're in. I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that'd be a lovely role for you, actually. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Oh. Right. Um, but then I, I, I think there's some songs that thank you. But there'll be some songs that I would like. I, I thought Molly and Ghost. I'm probably too old for that now. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there's, but there's so some much. gorgeous ones that are coming next year. So <laughs> I've always said. I've always said yours. <laughs> no, I couldn't. I couldn't sing that eight times a week. No, no. 